a design decision was made that each database object would know what its database fields are. That way, the method called attributes would retrieve only attributes that actually have corresponding database fields. So these two files were modified. We added to the user class an attribute called database fields, which is an array of all the database fields. And then we modified the attributes method. Okay, let me just do a control G on each one of these. So in user.php, we added the database fields attribute. In database object.php, we modified the attributes method for the database object class, which is the parent class of user class.